Hello, my name is Vinay Simha. I'm an endocrinologist at the Mayo Clinic, Rochester, USA. I'm attending the third International Diabetes Summit uh, at Pune, the Chalaram Diabetes Institute. I'm going to be speaking on the role of PCSK9 inhibitor therapy. There is this new class of lipid lowering medications, which are basically monoclonal antibodies to PCSK9. Uh, PCSK9 is a serine protease. It has a very critical role in regulation of LDL cholesterol. Primarily what it does is it marks out the LDL receptor for lysosomal degradation. So in short, it is something that ends up chewing up the LDL receptor. So if you can block the PCSK9, then you end up with increased expression of LDL receptors on the cell surface membrane of the hepatocytes. This helps lower LDL cholesterol. Uh, much of this was uh, detected in epidemiological studies where patients who have uh, certain variations in PCSK9 that inactivate this protein end up with low cholesterol and very low cardiovascular risk. This has led to the development of these therapeutic options, primarily in the form of monoclonal antibodies to PCSK9. We have come quite a long way in the last decade or so. So we now have two such preparations, monoclonal antibodies. One is called elirocumab and the other is evolocumab. They are administered by subcutaneous injections generally every 15 days and they have been shown to very uh, robustly reduce LDL cholesterol level to the tune of about 60 to 70 percent when added on to statin therapy. Um, and also now we have some data showing the effectiveness in terms of reduction of clinical events. So there was the study called the Fourier and there was also the Odyssey outcome study which have shown that there is decreased cardiovascular risk as well. So a relative risk reduction of about 2% or so um, in terms of the combined cardiovascular endpoint. What is also to be noted is it seems to be doing all this with seemingly minimal side effects as far as we know now. Of course, we still need data in terms of long term outcomes, but the initial concerns about the uh, there was some concern about whether the medication increases neuropsychiatric effects, memory and cognitive issues. But a sub-study of the Fourier trial, to some extent it has dispelled these doubts. So in summary, we have this new class of medications which very robustly reduces LDL cholesterol level, has shown promise to reduce cardiovascular risk and is seemingly safe in that it does not seem to increase the risk for uh, liver or muscle adverse effects, no increased risk of new onset diabetes and no issues with neurocognitive um, issues either. Um, again, these are early days and uh, we need more long-term studies and post-marketing experience to know about how effective and safe they are. The other big issue with this class of medications is the cost and uh, there's a lot of analysis going on about the effectiveness, uh, the cost effectiveness of this group of medications. It's quite expensive as of now and uh, we will have to see in terms of uh, uh, what is the benefits it represents to society as a whole in terms of uh, uh, the cost effectiveness. Um, as of now, it's primarily approved for use in two categories of patients. One is patients with heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia who have extremely elevated cholesterol levels, generally LDL cholesterol about 190. And number two is patients with established atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease who on maximally tolerated statin therapy still have inadequate control of cholesterol. Primarily, this would be an LDL cholesterol that is still above 70. So these are the two classes of patients that we should be considering PCSK9 inhibitors in. One is patients with heterozygous FH and the other is patients with established heart disease who on maximally tolerated statin and perhaps ezetimibe therapy still have an LDL cholesterol of over 70. Um, so we have uh, so other new developments going on in this field. So there is an antisense oligonucleotide that is being developed in Clisiran and this is the potential of being administered every six months or so. So um, a lot of exciting and promising developments in terms of lipid reduction for cardiovascular risk reduction. 
and uh, PCSK9 inhibitors are at the forefront of this. In summary, PCSK9 inhibitors are a new class of medications. They have shown a lot of promise. They appear to be safe and effective, but we will have to wait for future long-term and post-marketing studies to see how well they play out in the clinical scenario. Um, I'm excited about it, but, have a, but I'm closely watching for potential adverse effects in the long run and also its actual safety and efficacy. Um, thank you.